actually unbearable. Looking at the whole village has been ripped off, and then there were some dead bodies and a lot of people were injured. Buildings have collapsed, and then so immediately men came, fire service from Takwa, I mean from Christia, some came from Amasek Propong, and we also got some military men also came to the scene to support, and then the police also came, and then we have a lot of people on the ground that were able to put the situation under control. Now the road, we have been able to create an access road, and then if you look at now, traffic is moving slowly, but we are also praying that maybe tomorrow we'll find a way of fixing the road so that the traffic can move. In your briefing, exactly what caused this disaster? Yes, according to I mean, an eyewitness, it's like as if the, the truck was moving and it was crossed by a motorbike also. And then the, it hit the motorbike and then the motorbike lit us fire. So the driver got down and then he was telling people to run away. And uh, you know, and some people were also trying to find out what was really happening. You know, while the driver was shouting that people should run away. So I think it happened and around, I mean, about 10 minutes time, the whole thing exploded. So people who were trying to rise to the scene were the people who were mostly affected. And if you look at some of them, some of them were in critical condition. And as I speak to you right now, we have sent, I mean, about three of them to Masi. And then some people were also referred to Tapa. And for now, we have about 17 dead bodies. Oh, okay, we are told that all the hospitals in Takwa and Pristia Huni Valley are full. Is, it, is that the case? Yes, yes. Initially, they sent some, but you know, some of them were treated and discharged. So we have set up a relief center, I mean, as I speak to you. So I'm now dealing with the, the military personnel who want to have a meeting. And when we finish, I've also put some people in charge to take care of the affected ones. Probably tomorrow, they will find some uh, permanent place for them to resist. We, we are told that the whole of the Apiati um, community is gone. Is that the yes, case? Yes, yes, yes. If you can look around, I mean, because it's night, you can may not see. But the whole place, the whole, I mean, community is gone. I mean, all the roofs have been ripped off. And then if you look at some of the buildings too, they have also collapsed. And sometimes you might see some block building, they have all collapsed. And then and some of them were in their rooms and then they were trapped and they were able to rescue some of them. Some of them, too, unfortunately, before we rescue them, they had already gone. So, in fact, it's a very sad situation for me today. So, I've been here since afternoon up to now. And so, we are still here and then assessing the situation and making sure that at least every affected person is taken care of. We are told that um, the Apiati community, the population is over 500,000. Is that the case? No, 500,000. I don't think. No, 500 yes, into 1,000. It's about 500. 500. But we know most some of them too were not even around when the incident occurred. Yes, and some too also ran away. But if you look at the way the whole thing happened, some of them were actually in their rooms. Those who were in their rooms, they were within because they didn't hear what was happening. Yes, but some people also ran away. And then if you look at the whole situation, you, you realize that um, uh, those who were in the room and the people who were also trying to rise to the scene when they were shouting, you know, when they spoke, something happened, you know, the typical of our behavior. Instead of us to probably inquire whatever has happened, well, some people want to rise to the scene and see what has happened. And I'm sure that was the reason why those who rise there were met the gas and then they, 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 they died. So currently, we, we, we've seen some of the residents still around with their belongings what is going what is the relief plan this night yeah this night we have created some relief center at Bogosu because here now the whole village is gone so we ask those who are carrying their things that we will put them in the vehicle and then we send them to uh, Bogosu and some to have some friends that they feel that they are going to lodge with and then the parish center we have asked the mission now that they should spare us with the parish center so that we can keep them there till tomorrow morning then probably we'll find a place of a place that will be more comfortable for them to stay can you confirm this for me again you mentioned 17 dead bodies so far yes yeah, so far that is uh, it's unconfirmed but i mean the reports that i'm getting from the various hospitals and then i mean it's uh, roughly about 17 people that has passed on. okay honorable please your full name again dr isaac dasmani